Hello there, and welcome back to Respawn News. I'm your host, Benjamin Smith, and this week on the show, we talk Resident Evil Village, what's coming from E3 2021, and what's on the way from Epic Games. Gamers have had their hands on Resident Evil Village for a few days now, and the game dropped on May 7th and has been getting some very, very positive reception from players. Resident Evil Village is a survival horror game developed and published by Capcom, and the game is the next big installment in the series. Village is the sequel to 2017's Resident Evil Biohazard. The game follows Ethan Winters, who finds himself in a village that is inhabited with creepy mutant characters to say the least. During his experience, you are attempting to rescue your daughter who has been kidnapped. The game also implements many survival horror elements while keeping up with some more action-oriented gameplay as well. Resident Evil Village had been in development for about three years before it was even announced back in June 2020. According to the game director Morisama Sato, the team used Resident Evil 4's approach to create a balance of combat, exploration, and puzzle solving. Sato also publicly said they wanted to give players more freedom towards solving problems and make it a more horror game that you can actually play. Since the game's release, it has been received very well, especially following Biohazard's success. Players are loving everything this game has to offer. Resident Evil Village currently has a 95% positivity rate from Google users. The game received an 8 out of 10 on IGN, 84% on Metacritic, and the game is Steam's most successful Resident Evil launch of all time. If you're into creepy games like this that make your skin crawl, this is definitely one for you. And if you typically don't indulge in any games within the Resident Evil universe, this definitely could be something to draw you in. Resident Evil Village is currently available on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X and S, and PC. Xbox teases what's to come from E3 2021. According to an official Xbox Insider, Microsoft has a pretty hefty E3 showcase on the way that will be featuring some big updates on some already announced games, along with a few new reveals. The Xbox Insider specifically told us that four games will be shown off this year. The first of these games is Halo Infinite, which is expected to receive a release date during the showcase. The second of these games is Ages of Empire 4. So far, very little has been shown off about the game, and it has not received a release date. So we're definitely expecting Xbox to tie up some loose ends here. The third of these games is, of course, Bethesda's Starfield, which was announced back in 2018 with a teaser trailer that showed us nothing. Many fans anticipate that at this showcase we will find out whether the game is exclusive to Xbox and PC after Microsoft's recent Bethesda acquisition. The final game we can certainly expect to see is Forza Horizon 5, which is expected to be revealed and released this year before Forza Motorsport 8, which was revealed last year. Aside from these major games, some others we can expect to see are Stalker 2, The Gunk, and Hellblade 2. E3 2021 will be an entirely online experience and will invite players to join from the comfort of their own home. Other developers that are confirmed to be at the event are Square Enix, Bandai Namco Entertainment, Gearbox Entertainment, Nintendo, Warner Brothers, Ubisoft, but don't expect to see Sony and EA as they won't be present anymore because they are pursuing their own show game showcases. Of course, I'll be covering all the biggest and best news coming out of E3 2021, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a thing. Dead Island 2 will be an exclusive Epic Store game, according to court documents. According to recent court documents coming from the Apple v Epic case, Dead Island 2 and the next Saints Row game will both be Epic Store exclusives on PC. Epic Store has been providing all sorts of evidence during the Apple case, and there are lots of very interesting details coming out behind the scenes that nobody expected. Coming from the official review and performance strategy document from Epic is reference to Dead Island 2 in an upcoming Saints Row game. But the biggest detail coming from both of these games is that they will be exclusive to the Epic Store on PC. The same document also revealed that Epic has spent nearly $1 billion completely securing these launch exclusives for the PC game store. Dead Island 2, if you believe it or not, was originally announced back in 2014 and has had an incredible amount of development setbacks because the game was tossed between studios at least five times. 
The game was originally being developed by Techland before it was switched over to Jaeger because Techland decided to go full steam ahead on Dying Light. Then just one year later in 2015, Jaeger was shut down and development was tossed over to Sumo Digital. And it doesn't end there. Development was then handed over to Dam Buster Studios in 2019. Dead Island 2 has been anticipated for years now, and I'll be surprised if it actually ends up coming out. I'll be interested to see what the release will be like on PC only, along with Saints Row as well. That is all the gaming news I got for you guys this week. Let me know what you've been playing in the comment section down below. Hopefully it's some new Resident Evil action. I'm your host Benjamin Smith, and if you enjoyed today's episode, please drop a like on the video and maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you next week.